I was not prepared to vlog, but the baby is sleeping and I'm cooking dinner and you ask for quick, easy and healthy recipes whenever I'm doing an ask me anything corporate flight attendant Q and A. So you're gonna make dinner with me tonight. I'm doing zucchini pasta. I was influenced by Stanley Tucci. The recipe looks easy. I actually don't even have a recipe. I just remember watching the episode, taking mental notes, and now I'm gonna try to recreate it. But let me take you over to the stove and show you what's going on. I've got a pot of water boiling for the pasta, some garlic infused olive oil, and I've got butter. I'm gonna need that. Whoops, I'm banging into some things. And a mandolin, and then some fresh zucchini that I'm about to fry. So I've got the zucchini going and I'm using two zucchini. I'm making bigger portions because I don't wanna cook tomorrow. So the experiment that I'm also doing is I wanna see how well it holds up and reheats because it's an easy dish. I feel like it's a good summer pasta dish and potentially I will make this for my clients on the private jet. So I'm gonna to cook tonight. I'll give you my input on how it tastes fresh, my husband's input. I'm sure the baby will love it because he eats everything in sight. Then I'm gonna do a taste test tomorrow and check in with you again tomorrow. All right, my water has come to a rapid boil. Important note, heavily salted water. This is the one time to get any sort of salt season to stick to the pasta. So very heavily salted pot of water boil. Boiling. And then I'm just using this Cola Vita linguine for the pasta tonight. Another note, never break the pasta to make it all fit into the bowl. Italians will cringe if you do that. Let the bottom get soft and then gently push it in. You're not gonna have any pasta more cooked on the bottom than the top if you do it this way. It just takes seconds for all of the pasta to fit in the pot. With the zucchini, you want them to really crisp up. You want them to look brown and crunchy. And they won't be that way in your pasta because of all the other steps that we take afterwards. But you really want to fry those zucchini. And my dad has made this recipe. Um, he did the zucchini in thicker pieces. I'm just time constrained trying to cook while I have a baby sleeping. So the mandolin was easy, although it provided me with thin slices of zucchini. But he fried the zucchini in the air fryer crispy. Loved how it turned out. And so I'm thinking this dish is gonna be a hit tonight. All right, oh, as my pasta timer goes off, I was just gonna check in with you. It is al dente, I just tried it. I'm going to remove the pasta from the water, but save some of the pasta water for the next couple of steps. My zucchini is still going. And just for right now, I've transferred the pasta into the bowl that I'll be serving it out of for our family dinner tonight. And then I have my pasta water reserved. Okay, my zucchini are nice and fried up. I've added my pasta right into the zucchini pan. So I'm gonna incorporate all of that. And I'm also gonna add some of this pasta water. So I'm mixing this together and I'm gonna add a very generous amount of butter to this and let it all marry together. It smells incredible and I've let the flavors marinate together and it's turned a beautiful caramel color. Welcome my husband Jonathan to my channel. He just walked in, and what's the first thing that you said? What, the first thing I said? Mm -hmm. Oh, smells really good. It does smell really good. Really good. All right. Good job. Try. Thanks. So. We're gonna try it out. All right, I've served my portion, and I have my good grated cheese. Public service announcement, this is the only grated cheese that you should use. You should never use Parmesan Kraft cheese out of that plastic green tin. That's like a sin. So I'm gonna top it with the cheese. I wish I had some fresh basil to garnish it, give it a little color, make it look more lively, but it looks good. I tried it, it tastes delicious, it smells fabulous. We're ready for dinner. 
So I saw the recipe on Stanley Tucci's show, Finding Italy or Searching for Italy. I can't remember exactly what it was called, but I also read his book earlier this year and the recipe is in this book. It's on page 244 for reference. There's a whole backstory on it in this chapter. But here is what he does. I made mine a lot different from he did. So that was the ingredient list over here. And then these are the steps that he took. My dad made it more his way and said that he needed to modify a bit just to make it taste a bit better and a bit more flavor. But for reference, here's how the Stanley Tucci makes his. Okay, the true test, it's day two. I've got my leftovers. Not a lot of leftovers. This was a hit last night and we ate most of it, but I'm hungry now and I'm going to eat the last portion. Oops, let's see if I can get the lid off. That is left and I will let you know how this reheats and if it's something that I will be able to make on the private jet. Okay, I had my leftover pasta a few nights ago and I forgot to check in because I started eating and it was good. And then that was just the end of the night for me. So I do wanna say the pasta reheats very well. I didn't overcook it, I just did it al dente. So reheating it wasn't an issue. It didn't turn into like a soft, mushy sort of mess. It was absolutely delicious. And then I also looked up a few ideas on how I could plate it on the airplane. I just Googled pasta plating ideas. Anyway, I'm going to insert a little montage of the pictures that I found, my inspiration on how I will plate this when I make it on the airplane. definitely so good. I really think my primary passenger would love it. I know my pilots would love it. And when Jonathan and I were eating dinner that night, he even said, you have to make this dish for your pilots. So thank you for watching my quick little cook with me video. If you make this dish, I want to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about it. Thanks so much for watching. Please leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll chat with you soon.